Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Please do like, share and subscribe if you like these content. So I lost 3% of battery while the vehicle was put on vacation mode for three days. Now here is the picture of the back of the headlight dome. So I was finally able to get the specifications of the headlight that its low beam is of 12.5 watts, 12 volts and the high beam is 19.5 watts at 12 volts and halo lamp is 7.2 watts at 12 volts. So all the electricals are essentially 12 volts. So there is definitely one conversion happening from 48 volts of the battery to 12 volt somewhere on the MCU or elsewhere, most probably at the MCU. So we do have 12 volt output. So that means we can use uh, 12 volt accessories with this scooter and uh, maybe upgrade the headlights or something if needed. And of course, this also establishes the point that the halo lamp is of lesser power than the low beam. So halo lamp looks better and hence should be used as the daytime running light instead of low beam, which looks quite bad and ugly during the day particularly. And when talking about Move OS 3.0 smart headlight feature, it should not turn on the high beam, but it should turn on the low beam while switching off the halo lamp at the sunset. So that will be the best thing on Move OS 3.0 if Bhavish can get his team implement this, put DRL as halo lamp and put the smart light as low beam. We also see a large heat sink on the back of it, which is quite good for the longevity of these headlights. And I think this heat sink may also be connected with the DRL or halo lamp. I don't call low beam as DRL because of the obvious reasons as discussed now. So I hope Mahavish will be able to finally get the halo lamp as the DRL for very good looking scooter during the daytime while also saving about 5 watts of battery power during the daytime. We also see the headlight specifications mentioned here including the manufacturer and the lens type. Meanwhile this is the specification of the FPD cable which they replace when there is some problem with the GPS. Now this cable was not replaced when my VCU was replaced for GPS issues. As we can see, there seems to be four connectors on this cable and a ground connection on the outer core. So this looks like a shielded cable with four cores inside, four wires inside, four conductors inside. So it looks like it is carrying uh, four or five signals probably for mobile data as well as GPS on these. So I think two might be used for mobile data and two might be used for GPS. This is the other side of the FPD cable. All right, guys. So this is the full view of the FPD cable. This is how it looks. It's a small cable, not more than two feet in length. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you like this content and please do like, share and subscribe. Once again, I am requesting you because I see less number of subscribers and views for me to continue making these videos and helping the community. Have a great day and keep watching. Hit the bell icon and share it among your friends and colleagues who might be interested in this awesome and extraordinary scooter while we push Bhavish and his team to ensure that they fix all the issues, they give us the promised features and together we make this scooter as world champion and preferred choice of commute because this is the most inexpensive and least polluting vehicle which we can use for our daily commute as well as travel. Thank you once again for watching. Have a blessed day. Signing out. Bye-bye.